Welcome back to the big show. The U.S. housing industry is recovering, but it's hit a little speed bump. Sales of uh, previously owned homes fell last month. The decline is being blamed on rising mortgage rates and the U.S. government shutdown and lower inventory. Median prices of existing homes did improve, and it notched its 11th straight month of double-digit gains. Many first-time buyers are still shying away from purchasing a home because possibly of the, the cost. But despite this ongoing recovery in the market, real estate values have basically collapsed in many parts of the country and still working on recovering. One city is trying to breathe bat life back into the property market and it's taking this very unique approach and it's basically giving away homes. Rosa Kazan's reports from Gary, Indiana. There is little you can buy for a dollar these days in America, but in Gary, Indiana, a dollar could buy you a house as part of the mayor's efforts to save her city. A once thriving industrial town in America's heartland, Gary is now a silent shadow of its former self. With abandoned homes almost everywhere you go and a population less than half what it once was. It's real bad to me, but uh, I don't know what they're going to do about it as people are moving out. No jobs, empty streets and shuttered businesses. The result of a shrinking steel industry this town once depended on. That one's on its way. That's next. Mayor Karen Freeman Wilson says some of the city's estimated 10,000 abandoned structures will have to go. But others should rather sell for a dollar than let them rot and bring down the value of entire neighborhoods. You may have one or two houses on a block that may be abandoned. The rest of the houses are well kept. The yards are trimmed. Yeah. To be able to get people in those other two homes not only uh, changes and improves the appearance of the block, it raises property values, it increases safety. There is a catch. To apply, you must be a resident of Gary, have the money to rehabilitate the house, and live there for at least five years before assuming full ownership. The mayor says it could cost between fifteen and twenty thousand dollars to rehabilitate a house like this one, but she still believes it's a great deal for many residents of Gary, Indiana, offering them a chance to own a home. Felicia Goodman is one of them. She's lived in Gary her whole life, but has never owned a home. To get a house for a dollar, you fix it up, and in five years you have the deeds to it. That's a great opportunity. Where else can you go and get a house for a dollar? Where? Nowhere. And that's exactly what the mayor wants others to believe as well, that there is hope for the city Felicia calls home, rebuilding its fortunes one house at a time. Rosa Kazan, CCTV, Gary, Indiana.